What's up, YouTube? All right, so um, I just wanted to give my opinion on this video. This did happen two years ago. However, this is the first time I have seen it, so I wanted to kind of put my two cents in. Now, as you can see by the title. Okay, read it again. Tulsa man faces charges, right, after 12-year-old delivers his child. All right, so I'm going to let you guys listen to this video, and then you guys can let me know what you guys think. Well, now to new details about a story hundreds of you are talking about and sharing on social media. A 12-year-old showing up at a Tulsa hospital, 12 years old, ready to give birth, and the 24-year-old father of that baby arrested. It's really hard wow. to think about. The Tulsa Police Department is asking the public for some patience when it comes to them releasing more information with this case. Fox and 3's Rick Marinon is live man. with what more he was able to learn today and why some things Rick will just pregnant. take some long time and weeks to answer we were told today it is going to take some time to get all of the answers one of the questions we still did not get an answer to but we are told will come later is one that viewers have been asking not only on the fox 23 facebook page but also on tulsa police's facebook page where were the parents here is what we were able to find out more about this situation today it was a 911 call like no other. Doctors at Hillcrest Hospital in Midtown Tulsa called police after 24 year old Juan Miranda Jara happily showed up with a 12 year old girl he said was his girlfriend. The 12 year old girl was in labor, ready to give birth to Miranda Jara's baby. Apparently, they all think it's just, it was just kind of fine, like, like nothing was wrong. And it's, it was very, it's a very strange situation. Tulsa Police Officer Danny Bean says the two walked into Hillcrest just like any other expecting couple, hoping to deliver a newborn and walk out later with their new bundle of joy. When officers showed up, Bean says, Miranda Jara proudly told the officers the 12-year-old girl was about to give birth to his baby. The two walked in thinking like nothing was wrong. He felt like he didn't have any worries. The age of consent in Oklahoma is 16. Despite hoping to walk out with his new baby in tow with his underage girlfriend to begin new life as a family, Tulsa police arrested Miranda Jara for first degree rape of a minor. It is a very complicated issue. That's why we have experts on it. I know that it's going down that avenue. It's going down every avenue um, of what we can even talk about and release right now about how this is going. Miranda Jara and the girl said they'd been in a relationship together since last fall and started having sex back in October 2020. The number one question police and Fox 23 have been receiving since we broke this story is how could a man be allowed to be so intimate with such a young girl? And how could a young girl who was supposed to be in the fifth grade be allowed to carry a child to full term without police ever being called sometime in the last nine months? Bean says Tulsa police believe this was not a case of incest. But the circumstances of how these two met and lived together are still being investigated. While police cannot say whether or not the girl and Miranda Jara's family condone the relationship, what is publicly on social media shows at least some members of Miranda Jara's family encourage them to be together and get pregnant. On Facebook, Miranda Jara, who goes by Juan Miranda, openly posted that he was in a relationship with the girl. And the two posted pictures of what appears to be a baby shower thrown for them, just like any other couple. Bean says it doesn't matter if she had any support or not from friends and family. The law says the age of consent is clear, and anyone who violates that is committing rape. There are concerns that a girl that young could also have been easily manipulated by a grown man, but the answers the public want will take time to produce. People are upset, furious. It's gross to them. It's disgusting. They want to know why, how something like this was, was able to it's happen. It's not that it's gross. Um, and start throwing blame. It's just but we wanna, him as a grown-ass man take this man as any other kind should of not be doing that. That is a child. Some people for sure that what we're if not somebody did that to his we child? We can't give answers, but there's circumstances around that, and we understand that. 
Despite being born to such a young mother, we are told the baby is perfectly healthy. We are told as the investigation goes on, more charges could be filed against Miranda. And also, it is still up to DHS as to whether the child mother will be allowed to go back to her family and what the future of the newborn will be. It's all up in the air right now, pending the rest of the investigation. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. All right, y'all, give me a minute. I'm going to let y'all know what I think. All right, y'all, so listen. So, <clears throat> my thoughts on the whole situation. To me, like, yes, I would be, if I was the parent, I would be highly pissed. I would be flipping out. I would be trying to find out what's going on, why this happened, how this happened. Um, you know, back when I was younger, like at 12 years old, we didn't think about doing stuff like that. We focused on playing outside. You know what I mean? Like, we'd say, oh, he's cute, you know, or something like that, but we wouldn't act upon it. Um, but this generation of kids are starting to become sexually active very, very young. And it's disturbing. Um, I'm not going to say, like I said in the video, I'm not going to say, hey, it's gross because it's life. It's what we humans do. But, however, however, I'm going to say that because I don't want y'all to say, what? She believes in that? No, I don't. I'm not saying the situation, the specific situation with his age and her age, yes. Very gross, very disturbing. Um, I believe that he should be charged only because he should have known better. Now my phone thing just broke. He should have known better than to even want to even get into a relationship with a minor. Even though the age of consent is 16, this little girl was 12. 12 years old. Now, you tell me if that was, and I'm speaking to my YouTuber, YouTube family, if that was your daughter and this happened, okay, not even saying that she got pregnant, but she found somebody, and he was that age. What is a parent's first instinct? I'm going to kill that, and you would ground the child. Now, granted, they didn't give the full details, so maybe she didn't have family. Maybe her family didn't care about her. Maybe she was a foster child. Like We don't know because we didn't hear the whole story. And that is the only video that I actually seen. I do want to do a little bit more research um, to find out that information because maybe she didn't have family. Maybe she was a foster child. So maybe she didn't really have that love and that care um, and the conversations and the talks that she should have had with a mother or a father. Or maybe the parents didn't care. And I'm not saying that the parents are like that, but these parents of this generation seem to be more focused on doing their thing and then just letting their kids walk all over them, letting them do whatever they do, um, you know, and it's, it's very, very disturbing to find out that a child that hasn't even didn't even have a chance to become a teenager without having to have this on her shoulders now. And she may never even get that child back. So it's it's very it's very sad. It's very disturbing. It's very um, it kind of makes you want to put everything on him. And I'm not saying that it's her fault, but but she wasn't five, she wasn't two, she wasn't four. Um, you know, you're 12. 
children can be easily persuade to do something. Um, they could be um, talked into certain things. Um, at that age, yes, you do. You may have crushes on people, so you might have seen and thought that he was cute. So, I don't know, guys. I just wanted to see if I can get your opinion because it's very, very upsetting to see something like this. Um, so, if you guys can, give this video a big thumbs up um, and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, it is two years old, but I just came across it watching other videos, which I have other videos to make as well um, on certain topics. So, um, definitely give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.